Hello, this is Steve Larson, engineer with Cap Pumps. Today we're going to talk about the three basic shapes of high pressure nozzles in our industry. And the first one we're going to start with is the direct spray or zero degree nozzle. I'll start by drawing a cross section of how the nozzle is machined to produce the proper uh, spray that we want out of it. On a zero degree nozzle, it is a hole, a precision round hole that is put right through the center of the nozzle. And what that does is the water comes in, it goes through this small orifice, and it keeps its pattern in a tight circle. Comes out here, really tight circle, and on the impact surface where it hits, it's a really small circle. And the reason we want that small impact, because this type of nozzle, shown here, is great for cutting or high damage to surface. As you can see, it's a very small hole in the center of the nozzle. This one happens to have a quarter NPT thread on it, which is pretty common. And again, that's very good for cutting and damaging surfaces. The next nozzle we want to talk about is the fan or cone nozzle. And what they do when they machine that, it's, it's a lot harder to machine because you've got to put a spherical shape into it, and then you have to cut a V-notch that intersects. And after they intersect, there's a, a shape in there that creates the spray that comes out at an angle. And when it hits the impact surface, it's shaped like that. So and that type of nozzle is really good for using where you're trying to sweep or clean a surface, things like that. This is what one of these nozzles looks like. And as you can see, it's got the V-shape uh, machined into it. And it's got the angle of spray etched into the face. This one happens to have an eighth inch NPT. And that's a fan spray nozzle, good for washing surfaces and things like that. The next nozzle we want to talk about is a misting nozzle. And how that differs in manufacture, it also has a small straight hole in it, but it's going to be much, much smaller than a standard zero degree nozzle. And then there's usually a deflection surface, like a wire, that's put on the outside right to the center of that hole. And so when the water spray comes through, it disperses it into thousands of tiny droplets that fill a, a full circle area like this. And the reason you want a misting nozzle is because it's going to disperse all those small water particles out into the atmosphere that can evaporate very fast and can be good for uh, cooling or humidification, anything like that. A third way to mount the nozzles besides the quarter NPT and the eighth inch NPT is a quick disconnect. So you'll have a socket like that and the nozzle just fits inside. You just pull back the collar and snap it in. It's called a quick disconnect. So those are the three basic shapes of nozzles, the direct spray or zero degree, the fan spray, and the misting nozzles. Now, what can we do with those nozzles for applications? There are many, but we also have variations of the same types of nozzles. For example, we're going to look at the very nozzle here, and this is a nozzle that has a, a shroud on the outside, and as you can see in the center there's a zero degree nozzle down inside there, but what we want to do is we want to be able to change it from zero degree to a fan spray on the fly. So what we do is we just turn this outer housing and these two deflector plates slowly move towards the fan spray and they deflect it and it, it, and it turns out as a fan spray. So you can go from a zero degree to maybe a 45 degree. Another nozzle that's commonly used is the rotating nozzle and that has a zero degree nozzle inside it as well that's ceramic and it will be shaped and attached to a turbine so that when the water goes through, not only is the zero degree nozzle spraying at an angle, but then it rotates about its axis and it creates a cone spray coming out at a zero degree pattern so it draws a circle with the high impact of a zero degree nozzle. And that's great for hydro excavating and dirt busting and things like that. One more application is the swivel nozzle. And basically there's a swivel that's attached to a spray bar and the water uh, is forced in here, goes through here, and comes out the spray bars, out the two tips. And these are balanced equal length, and they're tipped at an angle, so that as it spins, there's a reaction force that spins this bar while the nozzles are spraying. So there's a spray angle that's going around in a circle like that. 
and this is great for belt cleaning or floor scrubbing applications. The last thing we want to talk about is impact. A lot of people want to know, well, what's the impact of my nozzle? Well, we're going to start with the theoretical impact of a zero degree nozzle. There's a formula out there that's called I, which stands for impact. Impact equals K, which is a constant, times Q, flow, times the square root of P, pressure. And in a four gallon at 900 PSI system, the numbers would go in at 0 0.05, that's the K value for a zero degree nozzle, times four, times the square root of 900. That gives you an impact number for that application of a zero degree nozzle at approximately 12 inches. And the thing to remember with impact and zero degree is that's the most impact will be with from a zero degree nozzle. But once you start putting in a spray angle like a 15 degree, you lose a lot of your impact because again, you're spreading it over a lot larger area. And uh, for example, a 15 degree spray nozzle will lose 70% of its impact. An 80 degree nozzle will lose 95% of its impact, but you may want the spray angle for your application for sweeping water, the dirt away and washing away, washing a large surface. So you would need to keep the spray angle. Just things to consider when you're talking about the impact of the nozzle and your particular application.